Have you ever known someone who touched every part of your life? Have you loved someone across time and distance? You know, that sounds like the beginning of a great love story, and it is. And you have the opportunity to see it and help in the fight to cure cancer. The play is called Love Letters, and the Lower Shore Performing Arts Company is bringing it to the stage. This is Susan Brown. She is from Avery Hall Insurance, and this is Dean DeFino from the Lower Shore Performing Arts Company. Thank you both for being here this afternoon. A so pleasure. exciting. Okay, so Susan, um, this is a fundraising event between Avery Hall and the Lower Shore Performing Arts Company. Tell us about this collaboration. Avery Hall has been working with Relay for Life in the American Cancer Society for 21 years and each year we've evolved into a different type of fundraising and um, this year and for the past probably 10 years we have worked on some type of production either with Warwick or this year the Lower Shore Performing Arts. So we bring that to um, a different segment of our community. So yeah. like you said, everyone can get involved with Relay and, and contribute to Relay. Yeah, and Dean, the story is called Love Letters. Give us an overview okay. of it. Well, uh, the play is really reflections in time. Uh, it only has two uh, characters, and, and these two characters are reflecting uh, of the relationship that they had over the years. They started out as just childhood sweethearts, and it progressed all the way through the rest through their life and they really we, we call it reflection in time because they're going back and remembering the love letters and the postcards that they sent to each other and it really deals with the lives and trials that we all face but these two individuals even though they may not be connected uh, in uh, as far as the place is concerned they are connected in time and distance uh, but they, it is really a, a great relationship. And yeah. so it really answers those two questions that you began the segment sure, with. Sure, sure. Okay, and, and Susan, um, the storyline in the play involves a cancer diagnosis. And, and is that why, you know, it, it's so fitting with Relay for Life? It makes it even more fitting mm -hmm. because the people that have experienced cancer, whether you're a survivor or you're honoring someone that you've lost to cancer, um, they relate. Mm -hmm. and, and the play would hopefully draw more people, but at, at, it's a day and time. I mean, everyone has to deal with us in our day and time. So it's another way to look at it. Yeah, yeah. And Dean, let's talk a little bit about the local actors that we're gonna see on this stage in Love Letters. You say there's okay. only two of them. Yes, uh, Catherine Redden plays the part of Melissa, and I play the part of Andrew, and it's directed by Ann Northam. And she uh, directed last year's play as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a little different kind of play. It's not gonna have uh, extravagant sets, but it's really gonna deal on the development of the characters of two individuals that really are in love with each other and, and how they react to each other through, as we said, throughout time. I imagine that is a lot of dialogue to remember, a lot of lines if, with only two actors. Well, it's interesting because it's actually given through the reading of the letters and, and postcards that they have. Yes, uh, it would be a lot to memorize, <laughs> but fortunately a lot of it is basically done through just reading the letters and it's kind of looking back at the letters that they wrote and postcards that they had throughout the years. All right. Well, let's take a look at the event details. It's Love Letters, a fundraiser for Wicomico County Relay for Life. You have two performances. That's right. Yeah. Uh, September 14th and 15th, 8 p.m. at Warwick's Carrary Hall. Tickets are $10. And if you would like to order tickets, you can call Avery Hall, and we're going to have all that information on our website, domarvalife.com. And of course, you can buy tickets at the door. That's yes. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it's going to yes. be a great show. Uh -huh. Yes, we encourage everyone. Yeah, really mm -hmm. looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much, Susan and Dean, for coming in this afternoon.